Well, I'm sure glad that the Civil War is over and that the North, a.k.a. me being from the Boston area, was victorious. Oh, man. I think, huh, what could I do now that the war's over? I'm in need of a quick buck. I think I'll go down to the South, where they're probably struggling, and bring some goods. Aha! I'm on my way. <laughs> Hey folks, I know I don't look like it, but I'm a white southerner from the south, obviously, that supported the Union during the Civil War. And I'm also a Republican. Never owned no slaves, just down here trying to rebuild the economy down south. It's hard being a white Republican southerner. Southern Democrats hate me. Call me names. Scalawag. Really hurts my feelings, you know. I mean, scalawag, man, that's rough. It means I'm worthless. It means I'm, I'm like an like animal. I guess I understand why. It's because you know, see me as a traitor, you know. Cause I supported the Union during the Civil War, and now I'm just trying to help fellow Republicans build South down here. Dang. Wonder if uh, they'll ever accept me, like white southerner than I am. Oh, hey everyone. I'm originally from Rhode Island, but I'm here in South Carolina, moved here after the Civil War. You see, I'm a businesswoman, and uh, I knew there were going to be a lot of uh, opportunities in the cotton business, so I decided to move down here. It's pretty intense living down here. Not many southerners like people like me that are from up north. I thought we were all Americans. I was out the other day talking to some landowners, you know, trying to make that business pitch when I heard a southerner call me a carpetbagger. What? wasn't sure what that meant, so I went to a schoolhouse and talked with a teacher who was um, employed by the Freedmen's Bureau, and I knew that she'd be able to explain to me what this carpetbagger um, means. So this teacher then explained to me that the term carpetbagger is used for people who have new, who have just arrived to a new area and uh, usually come um, and uh, bring all their possessions into a bag, like a carpet bag. I don't know what she was talking about. I put everything in this bag. Sounds like southerners just feel that us northerners are here to take advantage of the time period now that they lost the Civil War and they just see us as people who are just really trying to make the most of the opportunities and you know I, I really disagree with that. I think I'm just here to help our country. I'm just here to you know purchase some land, employ some freedmen, get the economy working again. It just sounds like a misunderstanding in general. It's just so frustrating. Oh, if, only, if only we could get along. Hey students, Miss Wissagayer here. So that's it for our video on carpetbaggers and scalawags. This week you'll have two main assignments. One assignment is a reading over those two terms that were used especially during Reconstruction, sort of as insults and put downs on Northerners and Southerners. Then you're going to have another assignment where you have to analyze a political cartoon. So recall that when you analyze political cartoons, you're looking for three main things. You're looking for exaggeration, symbols, and then captions and labels. Those will definitely help you out. If you need um, additional help to uh, analyze a political cartoon on a carpetbagger, you want to check out the instructional slides. Um, there's a lot of guidance there. Okay. Then you're going to have two do nows on Tuesday, Thursday, a quiz on Thursday to wrap up the week. I will see you for our next school classroom meet on Thursday or Friday. Bye. Yay!